RNG back again with another episode of Elite Nerd. This time, this episode, we will be answering the question of the Sol have a ninth planet? And, uh, yeah, and, it's, and the uh, similarities and differences with our, uh, with our actual solar system compared to what's in universe in the game. So I'm currently sitting at Galileo Station, orbiting the moon, and uh, here's a brief look at it before we set out. I'm in a lighter ship. The uh, when we find this planet, I'm gonna try and land on it, and uh, take a little stroll around the surface, just for the giggles. All right, so. Well, uh, get out of station here, and uh, be on our way. Oh, that's a big ship. Alrighty, here we are. Yeah, there's the moon. And uh, alrighty, I'll go uh, target this planet here. There we go. It is 484,000 light seconds, or about 800, 800 and so, give or take, AU. Alright, I will see y'all when we get there. Oh, there's a nice view. I like that. Earth and the moon. Huh. Alright, see you when we get there. Briefly, we, uh, if I can get there fast enough, briefly, you can see us passing by Pluto. So we're at the very edge of our solar system right now, yet we've still got 467,000 light seconds to go. Say goodbye to Pluto. All right, here we are, coming into a uh, view of Planet Nine, Persephone. Not the name I would have chosen, but if it works. And the game's in-universe states, in-universe description states that uh, Persephone was obviously Planet Nine, but it's ten times the mass of the Earth, which is which is kind of fits with uh, our real world predictions of what a planet 9 would look like or would be like. It would be, uh, scientists think that it's a uh, likely the remnants of a planet that was ejected during the early formation of the solar system, probably by Jupiter, and uh, it could be a rocky world or it could be an ice world. There's some suggestions that say it could, it's a, an ice world with a liquid ocean due to the, uh, in the planet's internal gravity being uh, able to uh, compress it down enough to create enough heat that uh, there's a liquid core, of water inside, underneath. And so there could be some kind of life under there. Who knows? Anyway, let's turn off the Super Cruise Assist before we get too far. And uh, try a little something here. Show you coming into uh, coming into a high orbit of the planet, and already the gravity is starting to affect us. That look at the uh, on my HUD there, the elevation, the bottom right where it says 1.24 Gs and going up. That's how much gravity we're experiencing from the gravitational pull on the planet right now just in a high orbit and we are 17 mega 17.5 megameters above the planet and that is roughly 10,874 miles above the planet 
and the gravity is already that strong. Yeah. So let's drop into the into normal space here. Out of FTO. And you can see the gravity of the planet pulling us down. This was something I didn't know that existed in the game for a very long time until I discovered this myself. I'd had to be sending around the planet like this and uh, saw that I was moving. Um, anyway, so yeah, I got my thrusters are on too. But if I turn my ship this way, my ventral thrusters are able to stabilize me. And uh, slow you down, so you're not so uh, you're not just careening out of control. So some of the differences between uh, the game's depiction of Planet Nine and the real world depiction of Planet Nine is that in the real world, if we if Planet Nine was out there, we would be likely in the Kuiper Belt or possibly the Oort Cloud, which are uh, bodies of. Uh, just a giant field of ice and uh, asteroids, the leftover planetary debris from early from the formation of the solar system that was uh, thrown out by the gas giants. And uh, scientists think that if you could find a planet nine, its effects on those objects would be how they would be a way for them to find it, because they could measure the uh, the movement of those objects. Because you obviously can't see it being this far out. The planet is going to be really dim. And light hardly gets out this far. Now let's see if I'm, uh, yeah I am, okay. Now let's get back into uh, FTL, faster than light. Yeah, the gravity of the planet is already causing stress on my ship just from charging my uh, FTL drive. Alright, let's try to set down one of those ice rivers over there. So we want full power thrusters, counteract the gravity. See now my G's are going up, I'm at 1.7 G's. So if my guess, if you want my guesses, I think Planet 9 could be the leftovers of a gas giant that didn't form the rocky core. Or uh, a planet captured by our sun's gravity, because the sun's gravity still exists out here. It's not just ends at Pluto. You still have uh, the sun's gravitational pull still goes pretty far out. The sun's influence, I guess you could call it. So, uh, all right, here we are. Let's slow down a bit here. Uh, here we are at 1.92 G's. That is almost twice the Earth's gravity. The Earth has one G. In case if you didn't know. Okay, let's not nosedive into the planet now. Let's pull it up to about minus 30. Should be enough of an incline to uh, get down to the planet, but not uh, crash into it. Now the hardest part about this will be countering the gravity, the gravitational pull, while at the same time landing. Alrighty. Here we go, landing on a sheet of ice at too fast. Alright, see I've pulled up, but I'm already still going down way too fast. So, boosters to get forward momentum. Now we'll slow down. Alright, find a nice flat land to set her down on. Right, let's try right here. Alright, here we go. See, look, I just barely had to tap my thrusters. For landing and 
yeah, it goes down pretty far. Alright, so now we just ease her down. Easy? That's not easy. Uh, there we go. Not too bad. Alright, we are down. Oh, hello. And, uh, alright, if you look up, there's Pluto. We are 464,000 light seconds away from Pluto, further out from Pluto. Now, to get a better idea of how far that is, go into the system map. Here's our system map. Here's Pluto. This way really doesn't go into the orrery map. It's the yellow dot. It's Pluto. And way out here is where we are. Here's our solar system. This is where we used to think our solar system ended. It was Pluto. Alright? No. It goes way further out. Now, see, look at Planet Nine's orbit. With modern day technology, if there was a Planet Nine, we would not find it. Even at its closest orbit, it still orbits really far out. So, uh, yes. Alright, now, the last thing here about first roll. I can't wait for the day they add, like, actual walking around in this game. I'm definitely coming back out here. Sliding around on the ice. <laughs> Look up, see our stars, our solar system. There's Bernard's Loop over there. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Little uh, formational thing on theor theorizing. If there's an idea of a, of a planet nine, an elite has it, then maybe there is a planet nine out there, and we just haven't found it yet. Who knows? Maybe one day we will. Elite's universe is a thousand years ahead of us, so we got a thousand years. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I leave you now with this image of me sitting on Planet 9, Persephone. Until next time, if you guys like this, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Or any other thoughts, leave them in the comments. And uh, as always, see you in the next one.